It's the grandson of right thought. Remember how I was telling y'all Mini Man? I was singing it. That song by 50 Cent, Mini Man. Mini Man wish death upon me. I wasn't joking when I said that, y'all. I wasn't playing around, making stuff up. I don't lie. I don't lie to y'all. I don't have to lie. That's part of being elect, you see. That's part of it. Did they wish death upon Yahusha? They surely did. Did they do more than wish death upon Yahusha? <laughs> did they crucify Yahusha? Yes, they did. And was I told that I was going to suffer in like manner? Yes, I was. So then you see why I laugh about it? Like I said, I ain't making it up. Y'all can see the proof. The comments, it's comments on my videos right now. People wishing death on me. People talking about grandson ain't going to live through this. He's not going to make it. I'll be surprised if he's still alive. Well, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> surprise motherfucker <laughs> what they do say surprise motherfucker <laughs> here I am <laughs> that's why I laugh see because when you know who you are you know you're chosen you know who you you know what your purpose is it's just like anything else everything that's created was created for a purpose right think about what man did man made tools for a purpose so, if that tool was a living thing, then when the man was using it, he would know whether he was using it for the purpose or not. He had been taught what he was. He had been told what he was, like a hammer. You're a hammer. You hammer nails. That's what you do. That's what you're made for, to hammer shit. Oh, yeah? Okay. Cool. Nigga grab him, start using him like a hammer. Hey, yeah, I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Pounding shit. <laughs> Hammering shit. See? That's exactly what I'm supposed to do. What's the same thing with you? If you don't know that you're a hammer and somebody starts using it like a hammer, you might start crying like a little bitch. If you don't know that that's what you is. <laughs> You think they're being cruel to you, using you in the wrong manner. Actually, they're using you in their true manner. So when you know what you are, you know what you're supposed to be doing, then when you're having to go through it, it's natural, in other words, is what I'm telling you. So the people hating on you, the people trying to scam you, the people trying to betray you, um, what words does he use? Despitefully use you. <laughs> That means use you on purpose for their own gain. Don't worry about it, man. That's part of the life that you're going to endure. If you don't endure that, then think it's strange then. <laughs> then it'd be strange then. Like I said, my own people, I had to separate from them. Same damn thing. Now, I'm going to tell you all the story because this is interesting. Recently, this was like maybe a month ago or so, I went to play softball with my flesh and blood kin, right? My cousins and whatnot. Now, they do this every Sunday when the weather's good. Play softball every Sunday. Now, this was back when I was back in the family. I was a part of it. I used to go play every Sunday with the family. It's a part of the thing, right? Now, not to mention, I'm the best softball player in my family, right? <laughs> They will all have to admit this if they was here listening to this message. <laughs> okay. So, and I'm about to prove it real quick too, by the way. So, when I got converted, I stopped doing all that stuff. I stopped hanging out. I started seeing the truth of the folly of it. The bullshit. The fakeness. You see? So, I stopped going. Years and years and years go by. I ain't been going. I ain't been playing. Well, like I told you about a month ago. They're asking me, come on, man, come on, man, let's go, man. Everybody gonna be there, man. Come on, man, come on. I like, okay, at the very last minute though, <laughs> the person I was with could tell y'all this. The very last minute, they're about to walk up the door, I say, all right, cool, I'll go. So I go on and go. Mind you, I haven't played in years. Well, 
the two captains pick their teams. One captain picks me first. Like I told y'all, I'm the best player that's out there. Okay? I'm not being uh, prideful or anything. I'm just telling the truth. <laughs> I'm the coldest player out there. So I got picked first. My cousin picks me. He's like, uh, give me grandson. Boom. Picks me first. Well, we ended up winning the game. The score, 13 to 10. We ended up winning. Do y'all see that? Now, watch this. We ended up winning 13 to 10, so that means we won by three points. See that, y'all? Keep that in mind when I tell y'all what happened. In the midst of the game, you know, we're playing at a softball park. You know, it's got the, the, the real field, the bases, all that shit. We all official and shit. So, in the midst of the game, I crack a home run, a triple play. Okay? Like in the fourth inning, I crack a triple play. Now, did y'all hear how many points we won by? Now, nobody else hit a home run the whole game. I'm the only one who smacked the home run over the fence. <laughs> okay? Like I told you, I'm the best player out there. Not to mention, I'm playing shortstop on defense. Now, all y'all who play softball, baseball, anything like that, y'all know that. You put the person, the most athletic person at shortstop. Quick, good with his glove. He's got to be fast. He's got to be able to throw accurately. Because once he scoops that ball off the ground, he's got to get it to first, second, or third or home quickly. He's got to be able to catch. Like I said, he's got to be good with his glove. Got to be good off the ground. Ground balls. He's got to be good, so he's got to be quick. So you put your most athletic guy at shortstop. Well, I'm playing shortstop on defense. Y'all y'all see what's happening? I'm playing shortstop on defense, and I'm the only one hit a home run. A triple play at that. Which, what did I tell y'all was the final score, like I said. So that home run I hit was the determining factor in whether we won or not. <laughs> now, I, I told you, I'm the man that's been staying away. They're like, what's wrong with him, man? He don't come around no more. What's going on? He crazy. He weird. Okay. I'm the one hit the game winning score that was that that was the difference maker Abba did that so it's ever since then by the way they've been asking me every Sunday now when I was playing the first game I slid into second base and skint my knee up real bad right so I had to take like a week and two, eight to two weeks pretty much to heal that bad boy up because it was skint up real bad so I had to heal that up so they ask me, like, man, you could have played softball. I'm like, man, my knee messed up, and I ain't playing. They're like, oh, man, come on, man. You got to get back out there. Just last week, they were calling. Just last Sunday, they was calling. Hey, man, you coming? <laughs> you coming to play softball? No, y'all, y'all go ahead. Y'all have fun. I just did that to see if I still had it, and I found out I did. <laughs> I was just doing that to see if I still had it, and I found out I did so that's all i needed to know <laughs> can i still crack them home runs can i still scoop up that hot grounder and get it to first base and get your ass out yes i can i found that shit out dude hit a hard ass ground ball pow man i ran over there and scooped that shit up off the ground so easily man on the run and threw it to first base on the run and got his ass out it was like uh yep he still the fuck got it god damn <laughs> Then I told you I got the bat and smacked that bitch over the fence. Pow! Triple play. My nephew was out there. He was like, triple play. Triple play. <laughs> so like I said, I ain't telling y'all no lies. But I'm just telling y'all the truth. That's what happened. He got the footage. He was showing me the footage. He's like, look, man, I got you on camera, man. I got you on camera. So I'm just telling y'all the truth. I was the difference maker. I'm the one who scored those three points that got us the game win. Other than that, we was neck and neck with the other team, see? So, like I said, you know who you is when you do shit like that, even though other niggas around you be hating. Oh, by the way, let me tell y'all this. Remember the same cousin I told y'all about on the other video? Maybe y'all don't know. But it was a video I had posted about my other cousin who slept with my wife, right? And then lied to my face about it and then tried to fight me. Because I'm like, I forgive you, brother. It don't matter whether you did or not. Because he's like, it seemed to me like you don't believe me. I told you I didn't. It don't seem like you believe me. What kind of shit is that? You mad because you think I don't believe you? 
<laughs> well, anyway, he's there, guys, playing softball with us. He's on the opposing team. When I hit the home run, he comes over and smacks me high five and congratulating me, grabbing all of me. Yeah, man, yeah. What? <clears throat> I just busted your ass. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, man, yeah. <laughs> I just beat your team with that shit. What do you mean, yeah, man, yeah? You see how desperate and shit they be for your energy and your attention? You see how you're the light, you're the salt that make everything taste good? Like that home run that they had the whole family celebrating and jumping up and down that nobody else could do? My other cousins, two of my other cousins came up to me and said, hey man, how the hell you do that, bro? <laughs> they were like, how you do that shit? I'm hitting that bitch hard as hell, they ain't going over the fence. How you do that? I'm like, man, I bite down on my lip real hard. I stump my foot down into the mud real hard. And I swing that bitch with all my might. <laughs> so the point is, y'all, you got to just know who you is so you can just be like, hey, I see you niggas for what y'all is. Y'all ain't like me. So I understand why y'all hate on me. There's so many cartoons that show that shit. Rudolph the Red Nose and Reindeer. Hey, Rudolph, put that fucking nose away, man. Shit, that shit don't look like my nose. Look, you got a weird ass nose. All of us got regular ass noses. He like, ah oh, man, put something to cover my shit up. I feel like I'm weird. Like you, letting your don't let your light shine. Say, I was trying to tell you all along. I was trying to tell your ass. Joseph kicked out his family. Got the coat of many colors. Or in other words, the light on him. Y'all see. So like I said, many niggas then tried to hate on me. Many niggas didn't try to lie. They didn't try to say I'm going to die. All kind of shit they didn't try to say. I don't pay that shit. No, my only person's words that matter to me are Yahusha's. That's it. And that's what perplexes me when you niggas get mad about what I say. I'd be like, how in the hell are you mad at what I say when I'm not telling you what I think? And then niggas come right to me after I'm done telling them what God thinks and what God feels. They come right to me and say... So what you're trying to say is, <laughs> you dumbass, stupid ass, baby's kid that got no ears to hear, nor do he have a brain to think. <laughs> uh, y'all should say y'all ain't got eyes to see, nor do you have ears to hear. I'm gonna take it further and say you ain't got a brain to think, <laughs> because how the hell are you asking me? What I'm trying to say, when I'm not telling you what I'm trying to say, I'm only telling you what Abba say. So take it up with Abba. Don't take it up with me. I'm the messenger delivering a message with a piece of paper in my hand I'm reading off of, and you're mad at me as if it's my message. It ain't mine. Are you that dumb? Are you that stupid? <laughs> Are you? Because I got niggas to this day. To this day, asking me about the same old shit. Like, uh, so what you're trying to say is this. So what you mean by that is this. Well, grandson, I don't agree with you because of this. You don't agree with me. When has the grandson told you niggas anything that he think? Any preferences he has? When has he told you guys that shit? When has he told you that the things you should be doing in life have come from him? The ideals are his ideals. When has he told y'all that shit? So then why are you pressing him about his feelings, his thoughts, what his words are? He don't have any words, nigga. You're fighting a ghost. The grandson don't have thoughts. The grandson doesn't have feelings. The grandson doesn't have words. So then why are you talking to him? Talk to God. Okay? Do that and stop worrying about the grandson because the grandson ain't got nothing to do with this. Niggas want to ask me, what you think? Well, it sounds like you're off there, grandson, because I'm not off. You're telling God that he's off. Stupid. Well, I disagree there because that couldn't be true. You don't disagree with me. You disagree with God, stupid nigga. How come you can't see that? 
Well, because you're talking. But am I telling you my ideals? Well, no, you're saying what the Bible says. Well, then take it up with who wrote the Bible, stupid ass nigga. Don't take it up with me. I didn't write it. Did I? Well, no. So then why are you arguing with me? <laughs> why are you hating me? Why are you wishing death on me? Well, it seems obvious as to why. Because you don't want me to tell you the truth. You don't want me to expose your folly. <laughs> you don't want me calling you stupid asses. You don't want me calling you and exposing you as a dumb fucker. You don't want me exposing you as senseless and stupid and evil and vile. That's why you want me to close my mouth because that's what come out of it. Well, those aren't my words. That's not my thoughts and my feelings. That's what God thinks and feels. Now, you need to prove to me that he don't think and feel that about it. And if you can prove that, then we can talk. But you can't prove me wrong about this. You can't say that God loves what's happening. So then what the fuck are we arguing for, stupid bitch? You don't agree as fuck? Then you're stupid, not me. If you think this world is great, then you're fucking stupid. And if you're the majority of the world that think that, then the majority is just fucking wrong. And you got to turn the other way, nigga. That's simple. If you ain't man enough to take your balls, gird them bitches up and turn the other way and turn your back and don't look back like Lot had to do, then you ain't fit for the kingdom. It's just that simple. Don't get mad at me for telling you that because it's not me that's telling you that again. I got to remind you dumbass zombies of that shit because y'all niggas just standing there going, uh, 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 until I say a word like black people. Uh, 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 uh. I got your stupid ass tied up like Michonne had those fucking zombies with their fucking bottom jaw chopped the fuck off. That's how I got you bitches. And every time I want to fuck with you, I go, black people can be saved. This world is wicked as fuck. You guys are fucking wicked. You're all going to die. Most high going to burn you all up, you fucking wicked devils. Fucking chimpanzees. So all y'all fuck y'all know is fucking jumping up and down, hooping and hollering, throwing your fucking arms around, trying to cause a fucking ruckus and scare somebody. You ain't scaring me with that shit. I have dominion over your fucking animalistic ass. Period. And that's what you hate. That's why you hate it. But you ain't hit no fucking home runs, nigga. So do you want to win? You need me to hit the home runs, bitch. Even though you mad when I show up. Because you don't want your girl to see that shit. You don't want the girls to see that shit. You don't want your friends to see that shit and be like, man, that nigga sweet, bro. Damn, them bitches be like, damn, that nigga the shit. You don't want them to see that. So you say, stay home. But you keep losing. So you say, okay, okay, bro, come on, come on, come on. Then you wondering the same shit. You're like, let me see if this nigga still got it. Oh, shit, another home run. Damn, that nigga still got it. How come I can't do that shit? What the fuck? Like the, my cousin said, how you do that shit, bro? How you do that shit? See that? So they need you so they can win. Now, if I didn't go, that means the score would have been at least, at least 10-10. Ain't that something? Not to mention, I told you, that was just one home run I did a triple play. Not to mention all the other stuff I affected when I was out there. Like I said, on the defense as well. Stopping shit, catching balls and all this other shit. Okay. So they probably would have lost, in other words. But they didn't because I was out there. I changed the whole sphere of the game, didn't I? I'm using it as an example to talk about the world, see? I changed the whole sphere of the atmosphere that I'm in when I'm there. Because I bring a whole new edge, a whole, a whole new level. See? And they know it. They just hate on you because they ain't got it. That's simple. So know that today. And take a breath and a breather and sit back and relax, man. Enjoy your uh, Moscato or your pina colada or whatever it is you like to drink, your mimosa. You sit back and relax and drink that shit, man. Chop you up some kale, some romaine, some strawberries. Get you some kiwi, some bananas. Get you some good avocado ranch dressing. It ain't got no soybean oil in it. It's got avocado oil in it. You spread you some of that on there. Eat that today. Drink you some good Waiakea water and sit back and relax.
Sila mo kami, Israel. <laughs>